How's it going everybody? So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to stream your PS3 games using the Aver Media Extreme Cap U3 capture card. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. Um, you're going to want to open your OBS and you're going to want to go to settings and then go to settings. Uh, for your encoding you want to use the constant bitrate enable it. Also enable the padding. Um, the max bitrate is going to depend on your internet connection. I use 2 megabytes and it runs just fine. Uh, the buffer size you can either keep uh, keep it the same as your uh, bitrate, or you can uh, change it or double it or whatever you want. Um, as for the audio, we're going to be using AAC. The bitrate I'm going to be using 128. Uh, for the broadcasting settings, the mode you want to have is live stream. Uh, the streaming service, uh, if you're using Twitch TV, you're going to uh, click on Twitch TV. Um, but I don't use Twitch TV anymore because I can't stand the chat delay, so I use something else. Um, and then the server, you're going to put your, um, the server here or whatever, and then for the uh, stream key, it's going to be on the streaming service that you're using, uh, and then you put it in there. Um, the audio reconnect, I have it enabled, and the minimize network impact, I have it enabled. So we're moving on. Um, the base resolution, we're going to have it at 720, since I'm going to be streaming at 720p, uh, no need for 1080 because since I can't stream at 1080 anyways so we're just going to keep it at 720p the frames we're going to use 30 um, I can't use 60 because um, my processor isn't as strong um, if you guys have a uh, newer i7 uh, processors then you could probably run at 60 but if you have the first gens like I do uh, then you can only run at 30 uh, moving on the audio you want to use uh, make sure you have your uh, microphone enabled uh, just go to microphone or whatever it's called, uh, and then that's it. Go on to the next one. Uh, you want to enable the uh, multi-threaded optimizations. The uh, process priority class is high. Um, the CPU present uh, is faster. Uh, encoding profile is main. And then just press OK after that. And then we're going to move on into the uh, next section here. So uh, let's just pretend that I didn't have a scene in a source. So you're going to right click in the sort in the scenes box, excuse me. You're going to right click there and add a scene. And then you're just going to name it whatever. Let's just say uh, we named it consoles. And then uh, you're going to right click uh, in sources, uh, in the sources box, right click it, go to add, go to uh, video capture device. After you do that, you want to uh, right click into the uh, sources here and then go to properties. So this is important. I'm going to uh, let you guys know what's going on here and what you have to do and why. Uh, okay, so for the um, Extreme Cap U3 to work, you have to choose a device, which is the Avermedia U3 video capture. Uh, the custom resolution, you have to have uh, a custom resolution for this to work. Um, if you don't, then uh, you're just going to run into a whole bunch of problems. So we're going to run it at 720 uh, or 1280 by 720, the frames at 30, and the output format is going to be YUY2. Uh, the audio input device is going to be just the uh, used device audio. Um, I turned the volume down three bars, but it just really depends on the game. But uh, this seems to work just fine. Uh, you're going to want to output audio to the desktop so uh, you can hear the uh, audio coming from your mic. Um, the use wave out audio rendering, you want to enable it because it gets rid of some of the uh, static noise onto, on your, uh, your headset. And it really helps out. Uh, I really like it. Uh, you can notice a difference if you have it off versus turning it on. And then that's it for that. All right, guys. Now I'm going to show you guys how to um, have the uh, resolutions match up and have everything you know set correctly here. So um, since I want to stream at 720p, uh, my PS3 is outputting at 1080p. And since I'm trying to... Uh, output to 720p this is what happens when you try to output at 1080p so this is what it looks like and we don't want to have it like that so what we're going to do is we're going to change the resolution into the ps3 to 720p so in order for this to work properly you have to match both the uh, ps3 resolution and the obs resolution so you just want to go to your uh, display settings here um, you're going to want to change the uh, output to 720p. Uh, make sure to um, take off the 1080p and the 1080i. 
if you do that it will come up uh, properly into the OBS if you keep these on uh, you'll still see the double image so make sure that you take off uh, the 1080i and the 1080p just so the 720p and the 480i is showing up and it will work the image will show up so just put yes and you are good to go and also too for the audio output settings you're going to want to use um, the uh, white and red cable for the for stereo um, you can't use HDMI since the HDMI doesn't have a um, sound so we're at 720p now and um, I'm going to show you guys what the image uh, should look like now so close that and then we're going to open uh, OBS and it should come up normally and there you go Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, get the uh, image on your TV. Um, so, uh, if you guys don't know, this capture card uh, only has a HDMI in and a AV in. And the AV in is a component dongle. And uh, this capture card does not have a uh, HDMI out. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to uh, purchase a HDMI splitter. And the HDMI splitter that I have is the Intexity. Um, I don't know the model number, but it's called Intexity. And I will put the uh, link in the description. Um, so pretty much uh, how you're going to have this set up, uh, Viva HDMI, is that you're going to have a PS3 cable uh, going to the HDMI. And then you're going to have uh, the other side of the HDMI cord from the PS3 go to the uh, Intexity uh, HDMI splitter. It's going to go to the HDMI in. Uh, the HDMI out, one of the uh, cords are going to go to the HDMI out in the back from the Intexity uh, HDMI splitter, and then the other end is going to go to the TV. And then you're going to have one, you're going to have the uh, HDMI in from the extreme cap going to the HDMI out to the uh, splitter. So that's how the setup's going to be. And um, it's important that you have this setup because if you don't have a splitter, you're forced to uh, play onto your uh, computer screen. I mean, that's cool and all because you get no lag whatsoever, but like if you're streaming, it's kind of annoying. You know, you're playing a game in full screen and uh, you have to unfull screen it to, you know, interact with your viewers. Um, so it's just easier getting a splitter and then connecting that to the TV and then you don't have to worry about that problem. And also, too, uh, when you get the image showing up onto your TV, um, you're going to have to, let me show you, let me show you guys. You're going to have to go to your, um, go to sound settings onto your PS3 and make sure you have the audio uh, multi output on. If you have it off, it's not, you're not going to get uh, any sound coming from your TV. So make sure you have the, uh, you enable audio uh, multi output. That's very important. And also, let me just show you guys that this is HDMI because um, this uh, splitter also um, bypasses the HDCP protection. So you can record just fine with no problems whatsoever. So I'm, I'll show you, guys, uh, show you guys that in just a minute. So let me show you guys that this is HDMI. This is at 1080p right now, HDMI. Just go to automatic and then it'll show the resolution, blah, blah, blah. Just say yes, and then that's all the resolutions I have. And then, like I said, for your audio, you can't do it through HDMI, so you're going to have to uh, set it up through uh, audio input uh, connector. So you're going to have to use the uh, yellow, I mean, you're going to have to use the uh, red and white. So that's how that's going to work. And then you're done. <clears throat> and then, um, oh, let me show you the uh, recording. So this is uh, recording right now. In 1080p with no problems um, I tried using a I think it was called a swell s e w e l l I tried using one of those uh, splitters to bypass the HDCP and it didn't work um, there was an error message uh, saying uh, something about it being copyrighted uh, being copy protected or something like that and I couldn't record so uh, it's recording now with no problems so I can confirm that this works for you guys. So uh, I hope this tutorial video helped you guys out, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.